two bombings happened this morning around 945 Eastern Time in Kabul. One at a gate that leads to the Kabul airport, the other at a nearby hotel about 1,000 meters apart. There are a number of dead in the nearby drainage ditch, and the Pentagon now confirms a number of United States troops were killed. We have a statement that's come in from the Pentagon from John Kirby, who's the spokesperson there. They've still not held a news briefing yet, but I do want to show you that statement, and here it is. We can confirm that a number of U.S. service members were killed in today's complex attack at the Kabul airport. A number of others are being treated for wounds. We also know that a number of Afghans fell victim to this heinous attack. He goes on, our th thoughts and prayers go out to the loved ones and teammates of, al of all of those killed and injured. We have new reporting in from the Wall Street Journal. NBC News cannot confirm this, but the Wall Street Journal is reporting that while no group has claimed responsibility, Western governments did earlier this week warn of Islamic State's regional affiliate ISIS-K. The U.S. envoy in Kabul, again from the Wall Street Journal, told staff that four Marines were killed and three of the injured in an attack, an American f official familiar with this briefing. A senior Afghan health official tells the Wall Street Journal that the death toll among civilians in Afghanistan, Afghan civilians, is 60 with more, quote, fighting for their lives. Of course, the Taliban seized control of the city, and the United States now uh, relies on the Taliban for security. The president had promised in, in a statement back on Friday of last week that if any of our operations were disrupted or any of our troops were harmed, there would be swift and forceful response. The president spent much of the morning, we're told, in the Situation Room with advisors and others assessing the situation and getting reports. He's now in the Oval Office, we're told, taking briefings from his Defense Department and others. We're led to believe that we will have some sort of statement at some point from the president, given the gravity of the situation uh, you would expect as much. The question now is, how does this move forward? There are questions about whether the evacuation can continue under the current security situation. The United States relying on, a, on what amounts to a terrorist organization for, for security. And now it appears at least, though it hasn't been confirmed, ISIS-K, its sworn enemy, has come in and disrupted the entire affair by killing U.S. citizens and U.S. troops and others. The question now is, how can the evacuation continue? The security situation has devolved to nothing at this point. We have no indication that people are now going in and out of that airport. We don't know whether flight operations can continue and on what level those operations are operating, are, are going forward at this moment. So when we get news from the Pentagon or the White House, we'll bring you that. For now, though, the latest from the Pentagon, a number of United States troops have been killed, an active situation in Kabul this evening.